While this video is playing, chances are you might also be replying to a text, eating a sandwich, shopping online, whatever, or even if you're not doing a lot, your mind might be doing a lot, like hopping around from topic to topic to topic. And that's pretty normal, actually, but I'm going to suggest that this video is your chance to practice being at one with yourself just for a moment. Is it possible that you could spend this moment actually coming home to yourself, feeling your feet on the ground or the surface that you're sitting on? Can you feel the temperature of the air on your skin right now? Your breath as it moves in and out, just this one inhale, just this one exhale right here. One of the most common questions people ask me is, why should I meditate? Why Zan? This is MIT. Sitting still is a waste of time and I don't have extra time to waste. And they're right, they don't have time to waste. This is your life we're talking about. It's a very precious commodity. And mindfulness meditation trains the brain to see things more vividly so we feel more present to life, to life's little gifts and surprises, and it also helps us ride the bumpy parts of life without losing our connection with ourselves and with each other. In meditation, I think it's better to be sincere than to be perfect. What does perfection even mean anyway? It doesn't exist. When we come into meditation, we are all messy works in progress, but we can be sincere about showing up, paying attention for a few moments, and training our attention to stay over and over again there are many ways to learn to do this at MIT and some beautiful places in which to meditate. I personally like the Bars of Color Within Squares art installation in Building 6C or the little wooden benches tucked away across from McCormick. But you don't have to have a beautiful location or even a great meditation cushion or anything like that. Just being who you are is already enough.